Welcome back. It's the first time you're here. Welcome. We're on day six of the going carnivore. What happened today? Well, I woke up and I did my morning wake up weigh in. And I went down to yesterday I was at 164.9 kilos. This morning, 162.8 kilos. That was an increase a decrease of 2.1 kilos from yesterday. Now, remember, I'm weighing 358 pounds, and there's a lot of liquid involved in that. And anytime you first start on something, you're going to get accelerated weight loss for a little bit. So don't take this as being incredible. I've done this before on other types of things, but usually I was starving myself. I'll tell you one thing. On this diet, except for when my steaks were so tough I couldn't chew them, I'm not hungry. And I'm not purposely saying I don't want to eat. And there's been a side effect at least one side effect of this so far, and we're only on day six here. The side effect is I wake up in the morning and I've got energy all day. And since I start, since like day two, I haven't taken a nap. Maybe it's because I've been busy. Well, I sure didn't need to. Now, I love taking naps where you need to or not. But I haven't. And I found myself staying up a little later. And I've been busy, like I said. So, right now, I've got my weight loss at 26.9 pounds, 12.2 kilos. And uh, 2.1 kilo better than yesterday. So, what happened today? Well, the ink bird, I-N-K dash V is in Victor, S is in Sam, O3 model vacuum sealing machine with extra rolls came in. Now, you can buy this in America as well as over here. Now, remember, here's a little tidbit from Thailand. You can't just always order shit from Amazon. Because they will be shipping you stuff that runs on 110 volts. Now, yeah, if you've got computer chargers and phone chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers are a professional American football team based in the greater Los Angeles area. The Chargers compete in the National Football League as a member club of the American Football Conference. Computer, shut up. Evidently, my Alexa, as you know, answers to the C word that goes C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. Now, she's not too bright. She can't spell, so she don't know that. But when I said the C word, old loudmouth back here, it uh, spoke off. But, by the way, now that I'm in Poolville, a lot of the electronics in here are controlled through my Alexa, where I can actually turn lights on and off, turn fans on and off. Uh, in my studio, when I'm recording in there, I turn my studio lights on and off all by voice. But Alexa's not that smart. So anyway, the ink bird arrived. We unpacked it and we vacuum sealed a steak that we purchased at the local market. Now here, here in Huiyai, on the main drag through Huiyai, which is a very small town, and it's 15 minutes east of John Tim Beach by car, but they have markets here. 
They have an amazing market on Friday mornings. And it's in a, it's in a temple parking lot. And all these vendors come in and they bring their little stands and tents and everything and they sell everything in the world in there, all kinds of food. And they sell clothes and they sell everything. You wouldn't believe how crowded this is every Friday. And that's the Friday market. Now on Saturday, they've got a Chinese market about another three or four miles the other way. And uh, Noi goes to the Chinese market and gets fresh shrimp and things like that. Uh, but down at Huiai every day of the week, down near the railroad tracks, they got this market that runs in the evenings. And she went down there and she got a couple steaks from that market. They were real reasonable priced. I had one and it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't sous vide cooked or anything. Uh, we got one left. So the ink bird arrived today. We seasoned that steak, let it sit out, let it get nice and, and room temperature. And then we put it in the sous vide at 55 degrees Celsius for two hours. Now, I'm not sure that it required two hours because I had already sealed up that steak before my meat meter block remote thermometers arrived. Now, those I will show you later on another day because right now they came in and you have to charge them for eight hours before you ever use them and they're real persnickety but this device allows you to monitor four different pieces of meat separately to an app on your iPhone you tell it how much to cook and it will alert you using Wi-Fi, even if you're not home. It will come through the Wi-Fi, find your iPhone, tell you it's in 30 minutes it's time to take out your steak. It'll be done. It, I mean, you know, so it's not even Bluetooth. Well, it's Bluetooth from the temperature probe to the meter block then the meter block is Wi-Fi and that will reach out and find you even if you're not home so that's really cool so that came in today and all the Victorinox knives that I word on day five they all showed up including the sharpening stone and I'm looking forward to eating that steak with that serrated blade because I don't I've always loved a steak knife that had serrated edges on it. It just right through if you have a good one. And these Victorinoxes, man, they sure feel sharp and they've got a big reputation. You know anybody who butchers eight hours a day, six days a week, and does nothing but cut meat, is not going to be using a brand of knife that's less than a good brand of knife. That divorce happens real quick. It's like being a mechanic and using a 50-cent wrench to try to break off a frozen bolt. You need the right tool for the right job. I've always believed in that. I'm looking forward to using those knives. Now, what did I have for breakfast this morning? This morning I had bacon, medium, not well done, cooked in the skillet, and then poured four scrambled eggs on top of them and turned it into this bacon and egg breakfast 
And to be honest, that's all I've ate today. And I'm making this video here at about, oh, 6.20 in the evening. But behind me, that steak that we bought at the little market down the street, nice inch and a half thick steak. And I'm not sure what kind it is because Noy bought it and the answer she gave is not the answer that I expected. So when I make the next video, I'll tell you how good that steak was. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. That's all, folks.